and we will be adding some important meta tags to our solo website. In HTML, meta tags are tags placed within the head section of a web page and they provide information about a web page. Or you can say the meta tag provides metadata about the HTML document. And that meta tag can be used by browsers like how to display content or reload the web page. It is used by search engines for search keywords or it is used by other web services. We need to add some important meta tags to our solo website. So let us do it. As I said in my last lecture that all the meta information about the web page will go inside the head section of a web page. So I'm going to add some important meta tags inside this head element. Before I write meta tags, I have to write HTML comment for meta tags. This is how you can write comments inside HTML document. Comments are very useful and they are ignored by the web browser. It is good practice to add comments into your HTML page because it explains your code and it can help you to modify your code later. Now I'll start writing the meta tags. The first meta tag I will add is to specify the character encoding for this HTML page. And for that, I'll write meta and I'm going to add character set attribute for this meta tag, which is char set. And the value for this character set attribute is utf-8. To display an HTML page correctly, you need to specify this meta tag. So a web browser must know which character encoding to use. The second important meta tag which I am going to add is to make sure that our solo website should be compatible with the latest Internet Explorer browser. I am going to write meta and I am going to add an attribute for this meta tag which is HTTP hyphen acquiring. And the value for this attribute is X hyphen UA hyphen compatible. And I will add one another attribute for this meta tag, which is content. And the value for this content attribute is IE, which means Internet Explorer should be equal to H. This meta tag is for Microsoft Edge browser, which is default browser for Windows 10. And this meta tag will force the browser to render this web page as per Internet Explorer Edge mod. Next, I am going to add one another important tag, which is viewport. As you know, we are going to build a responsive website. So it is very important to add viewport meta tag. Let me first write it and then I will explain it. I'll write meta and I'm going to add name attribute for this meta tag and the value for this name attribute is viewport. After that, I'm going to add content attribute and the value for this content attribute is width equal device hyphen width comma and after that, I'm going to write initial scale and the value for initial scale is 1. A typical mobile optimized website contains something like this. This meta tag gives the browser an instruction on how to control the page's dimensions and scaling. This part sets the width of the page to follow the screen width of the device, which will vary depending on the device. This part sets the initial zoom level when the page is first loaded by the browser. You should include this meta tag in all of your web pages for mobile optimization. So these are the important meta tags which I wanted to add to this solo website. And you should also add these important meta tags to your all of your websites. I'll go ahead and I'll save these changes. Okay, that's it about this lecture and I'll see you next class. Thanks.